previous video uh, where the tile were almost perfect. This is the same type of application. In fact, it's the exact same tile that was used in that, that particular video is, is done in here. And a lot of people complain they couldn't really see, they couldn't see close up. So I'm trying to do, <laughs> trying to do a little more close up of, um, of these lines and the fact that there's no lipids. Like when you come up to these four tile, there's just ever so slight. I mean, so minuscule lippage that is not, almost it doesn't even matter. Like this has nothing. And between these tile, I could, again, as I said on that other video, it would pass the bucket test. If you slid a bucket with a little bit of weight in here and slid it across here, it would all, it would, the bucket wouldn't dump over. That's what I call the bucket test. So because this is all, basically the same tile in that other video. Um, I decided to come up here when these guys are actually doing tile work um, in here in Jamaica and kind of give you an idea, feel for how things are done. As I mentioned on the other video, they don't really have the equipment. They're not going to have, you know, the wet saws are very expensive and they're not really dealing with that. So even, even a manual tile cutter um, are relatively expensive here, but um, I've seen them do different things. I've seen them use grinders, and this guy has a grinder, but he also has a tile cutter, and that's how they do all their cuts, and, and the little nippers around the corners and all that stuff. So if they're, if they're, they're either tile cutters like this, there's gonna be um, a grinder, and there's gonna be nippers. So, I'm here at, uh, I'm here at Boot Gas Station. The gas station is being built here. It's actually in uh, Draxhall. Draxhall, there's a couple of locations, but I'm at the Draxhall location. And I'm here, uh, I'm gonna interview this guy that does tile here because everything is so straight and flat. And I'm just so impressed by this. And I think other tilers would appreciate the information this guy can provide. And this is the tile guy. And uh, I'm sorry, what's your name? Um, my name is Damian Daniels. Damian Daniels. And so, you've been setting this tile now for how long? How long you been on this job? Uh, well, uh, just started from last week. Last oh, week? Yeah, so you've done all this stuff in a week? Yeah, all this stuff in a week. Okay, uh, nice. Um, and so right now, what I'm trying to, uh, to get kind of my viewers to understand is that, that you're dealing with a concrete, uh, concrete floor that the mason put down, and it's not so smooth. So the process to get it smooth before you start setting the tile, because I see you started setting the tile already, what is the process that you're using to make sure that everything is flat and smooth when you put the tile? Uh, okay. Well, the, the, the layer, the deck, wasn't yeah. so smooth, right? So right. we have to run a level line, which we use a laser level. We use a laser level to run a line and find the ice point on the tile. Right. So what you did is run some lines, let the level, Get a measurement to the highest point and, 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 and then, what do I call it? Get some mortar mix to get a um, smooth note section. Okay, so you're using mortar mix to kind of screed out yeah. the floor so that you can get your tile straight later on. Come on, that's what you do. Okay, so when you set your line uh, with your laser level, it doesn't matter where the line is. Like you showed me earlier that you have on these pillars, you have a marked line here. And then you replicate that line on on all the following with the laser level, because I can see over there on that pillar you marked a line also. Yeah, right. Here. Okay. Well, first of all, we get the level. We, we, we take the level straight. We, we uh, forget the master rule. Okay. That's that's the most important thing. You get the master rule for so where you're gonna get the tiles cutting, or where you're gonna get the tiles. Get that straightness on the building, because if you don't get that, and you get the building. Outer um, square or outer level, it's not going to give you a nice smooth finish. So you have to get the corners, then the straightness of the corners and the level. That is the most important thing to get your tile flat and finish like this. So, right you now, we're doing, uh, we're doing some mixing with some mortar to, to really screen off and get some levels on the floor. Okay. And so, and I noticed that, you know, when, when we kind of do a, a, a mud bed type of situation where we're using, um, and you, you use the sticks over there too. I see the, yeah, so those, those things start first and you fill those into the top and screed it off the top so you have a level floor. Yes. Right. And you let that dry. Yeah, we let that dry. We got to give it two 
well new and are old, you get two to three days to set properly. And then you start the um, tin set, start spreading the tin set um, with a notch, either a notch or a give and take, give and take still, half inch um, notch showing. Oh, that's true. That's true. That's true. Right. So you're you're giving yourself about a half inch to maybe three quarters of an inch at the most that you're actually using thin set on here, because all the rest of it, this is the mortar that you already put on the concrete. So this is all the mortar that you set two weeks ago, right? And so once that mortar dries, now you have you have about half an inch to three quarters of an inch play that you can put your your thin set down. The exactly. Right. Normally, normally the tin set now is not supposed to be higher than this. Right. Right. Tin set mark. Right. And when we lay the tin set, give you a, a nice piece of lay. Right. And then you put your level on it the whole time around, so that you make sure that you're level and that you're flat on all of your tiles. Right. So, so it doesn't even matter that you're, because you, I noticed you're using a really, really thin, a 1 16th inch spacer. grout line. Yeah, so you're using the spacers. Some of the time, if you notice, you put an arrow in it because the tile is weird. Right. And it's all good. It have an arrow on the back of the tile. Oh. So we use the continuation of the arrow. Oh, so the straight. arrows have to match up. Yeah, so go straight. No, go straight, no. straight. Gotcha. Go. Gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> right. So, so the arrow is only on that tile, or is it on a lot of the tile? Every tile has an arrow on the back. Okay, to tell you where to match them up at. Okay, so it just continues in that direction. All right. So right now he's mixing up the mortar. Right, so that's the mortar that you can screed out. The floor flat and level, that's not half the half inch thickness of a tin set because the reason why it's a tin set is not supposed to be thicker than either half inch or three part of an inch. Gotcha. So that's why you use that to lay the tile. Anything more, you might find the tile swimming on you. If you hit the one, any other tile swim up. And you hit the other and swim up, you say you can't have this floating thing. So you use like a half inch. Uh, three quarter of an inch, two cents. It's that give and take. And other than that, you can find yourself a little problem. It's just on a big floor. You can't have too much tin set laying a tile. You can have a whole inch or uh, inch and a half. Right. And you have the tile floating. And you hit the one, you have one next one floating up. And you hit the one, you keep on having a floating thing, like a wave. Okay. So I, I'm not really noticing. Oh yeah, you're, so you're trailing out your thin set. You also back butter your tile? Yeah, I butter the tile. Okay, so you butter the tile in the back. Yes. Better effect. Yes. We butter the tile. Yeah, better effect from your pocket and you know, sit straight away. Exactly. Then you tap it down with the mallet to make sure there's good adhesion. Right. And then that's how you get the floor all nice and flat and even. Because what I do, what I call a bucket test. I can slide a bucket across there and the bucket won't tip over. Exactly. Exactly. If I come back now, okay. By Friday, I'll see the floor. Okay. The whole thing done. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's very, very nice.
that's a thin set. Grade. I agree. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> You're both sort of Put that on the video yeah. too, yeah, yeah. That comes in here. Where are you from? What's your company name? King Daniel. King Daniel. King Daniel Styling. What's your phone number? Uh, 781. <laughs> 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 That's a bitch. Well, I forget the phone number. Yeah, put it in the era codes. Uh, 781. 48, 44. Put in the error code, um, 876. Is that cable wireless or did it sell? Cable and wireless. Yeah, I thought it sold. It sounded like it. Yeah, you got it in the roof. You okay. Got, you got it when you call it. Watch out! Watch out! Get in there. Even after, even after, they must have read it. So nobody read it. Give him some spliff so he can think right. Hmm? Give him some spliff so he can think right. <laughs> no, I don't want to spliff, I want a whole tree. Okay, the whole tree. Yeah, the whole tree. Okay. So you're go are you going to screed out to this line that you pull? Yeah, you're supposed to screed out to that. Okay, to the line. Exactly. I hope you exactly. enjoyed that video. If you did, then subscribe. Hit that button and subscribe. I make nothing off of YouTube, so please be a Patreon member. I'm gonna post a link down below to my Patreon account, and you can donate a dollar, five dollars, ten dollars, twenty dollars a month. Just pledge that that on a monthly basis. That will help me produce more videos and, and content so that you can watch and learn from my channel. And donate at least $50 if you're gonna call. If you're gonna call for advice, donate to my PayPal, please. Donate first and then feel free to call me or email me uh, for advice. Otherwise, business calls only, please.